All right, so a bit of a rant, a bit of a review, a bit of an opinion, a bit of a comment, a bit of everything. So uh, one week ago today, I started with Instacart. I applied, everything went smoothly. The whole uh, application process, I uh, started and then after about two hours, I got approved and was ready to roll. So it was very, very quick to get a, applied and approved and everything else. I also tried with the other ones, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Skip, etc., etc., And all of them all said that in my area, it was all full right now, but we'll email you when we have a spot available, which is kind of ridiculous because it, it just get me up approved. And if there's no calls, then just don't give me any. But to put on the back burner and say, yeah, we'll email you when we're ready. I think that's kind of brutal. Just curious if you guys know, um, if I put an approval code in there or uh, somebody's like uh, affiliate code, would that get me in quicker or is it still going to be put on the back burner? If anybody knows, let me know and um, maybe we'll try again. But the even the one for, I think it was DoorDash or Skip. I think it was DoorDash. You also have to... Um, say or buy a bag if you already have one you have to upload a picture of the bag i guess it's like a pizza bag or something and if you don't have one you got to pay 75 dollars to get one just kind of like hmm, no um i don't know is it worth it uh okay so for instacart let's get back to the the task at hand and if you hear a little bit of dropping on the uh on the roof it is raining outside um i don't think you can see it too much but you can kind of see all the uh, the rain on the windshield here. Um, okay, so Instacart. I, I did, well, myself and my girl, we did four runs on Sunday, two days after I got approved. And uh, the batches were coming in pretty good. It showed that uh, in the area that I was in, it was a 24% busy rate. So it was kind of a busy day. So I think we, we turned it on and we waited about, I would say 10 minutes and we got our first batch so I was kind of thinking you know what whatever this batch is let's just take it because it's the first one and they did have a promo stating that if you do five batches within your first week uh, you would get a uh, guaranteed $110 so I started off on Sunday um, this this promo ends on April 3rd for me I do have one more to go but let's go back to Sunday we started off Turned the phone, uh, the app on, got a batch within 10 minutes, and it was at TNT. So my girl, being uh, Cantonese, of course said, okay, let's go to that one. So we went to TNT. Um, a lot of the stuff that was ordered was um, Chinese slash Cantonese food. So for, uh, for me, it was very hard to find. Thank God I had her with me. But um, there were still a couple items that we had to ask the, um, the people that worked there. Where can I find this? Where can I find that? But it was pretty good. So the distance to drive to the customers was about 20 kilometers away. The pay, I believe, was $28. So that included the $5. Uh, the first three trips were including a $5 bonus per batch. So I guess it would have been $23. Plus the uh, $5 bonus was five, uh, $28. But I think there was also a tip in there of like three or four dollars. I don't I don't remember. But okay, so that took about in total between the shopping and going to the person's house about an hour. So $28 for an hour, I would say is pretty good. Um, the other one, next one was gonna be again TNT, so we had to go right back to TNT. And that one again was around $20 or so. Uh, driving distance about another 20 kilometers. Then the third one, we went to a different area, and it was for Greco's, which was formerly Concord, which was, I think, the best one. Even though the pay was the least, I think it was $15 for, it was only three items, and it was only about a minute away from the actual supermarket, which was really cool. So that one took like five minutes, and that was $15. And then the last one was at Superstore, a uh, real Canadian Superstore, back in the area where I started. And that one, 
again was about a 20 kilometer away distance all three of those orders uh the two tnt and the superstore one i think they were about 20 items each more or less um it wasn't that bad and again another 20 kilometer drive so that day i made i think it was 91 dollars uh tips and everything included so i'm guessing that my last order for the five out of five is going to be at least 19 dollars because they guaranteed me the 110 i made 91 in four so i'm 19 dollars short so all in all i would say that it was a pretty good uh pretty good start shall we say i'm gonna probably do another run on on this sunday or maybe even tomorrow a little bit who knows we'll see if the weather is any better than this because this is like too crappy i mean you can see it all the rain um so that was that i just want to give a quick shout out to um a youtube channel called gig academy inc who uh her name is chloe she runs that channel she was the one who really got me into this because i started watching her videos i don't know how i think it was in the recommended or something and i started watching one of her videos and me and my girl have been watching every one of her videos since so chloe I just want to say thank you to you for uh, making these videos. Um, I know it's a real hassle for you because you're filming everything while you're doing it. And you're not just doing Instacart, but I saw you're doing all the other ones. Um, Chloe, if you know as well, let me know if, if you give me your referral code, if it does help me get in, and as well if it does give you a bonus to Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Skip. Um, for Instacart, I already applied, so I don't think I can put in your promo code. But um, if you do have one for the other ones, let me know if I should try those as well. But yeah, that, that's my little uh, story for today about Instacart versus the rest of them. Um, so far, Instacart, thumbs up. We'll give you another shot, definitely. Keep on trying. Um, I noticed that during the week, Monday to Friday, there aren't as many batches. Oh, and another thing is I'm still waiting for the card, the actual physical card. Um, I did get a digital one when I got approved. And they give you a digital one but i don't know if with the physical card i'm gonna have more stores available for me because i noticed that walmart i didn't get any walmart um like i was saying i just got tnt and real canadian superstore i noticed that sephora came up real quick but it was gone within a minute so i couldn't take that one but i think that's more for like me and my girl to do because she really loves sephora of course um so yeah, I don't know if uh, the digital card is supposed, I mean the physical card is supposed to come out uh, in my mailbox either today or by Tuesday at the latest. They said if I don't get it by the 5th of April to uh, request another one. So we'll see. Again, does anybody out there know uh, once you get your physical card, do you get access to more stores? Because it did say in the app to access more batches, activate your physical card. So if anybody know, if they can comment down below, It'd be appreciated. Um, and anybody else can give me tips, pointers, or whatever. Um, again, I am in Canada. I don't know if it makes a difference as far as Instacart, but whatevs. It is what it is, as Chloe would say. So, guys and gals, I want to thank uh, you guys for watching my video. And uh, I will update daily. I'll probably be making different videos for different things. I did reach out to Gig Academy as well to ask if she wants to do a collab, a collaboration. Uh, hopefully she should be interested in doing that and uh, we can take it from there but uh, yeah if you guys want to see anything else i'll do reviews about different things uh, first time i'm doing it this way so hopefully you enjoy and as usual we'll see you on the flip side this is mavakaga gone <laughs>